we'll see one more example in quantifier so here i am uh, going to take an example where i have the combined one like two formulas binded with for all for all x pi and psi so what does this a symbol actually means it means that i'm going to prove it in both the ways it is your equivalence criteria so first the uh, way of proving it is i'm just going to take uh, the first of us premise for all x pi and the psi with that i'm going to prove it as for all x pi and psi okay so this is your universal quantifier i'm going to use it as for all x and what all i have to do first i have to this is your and logic and this is your first term second term so according to your and logic if it is binded with and we can write the formula separately if i say p and q both p is valid and q is valid i can write p and p as valid and uh, q as valid using your and elimination so that is very simple and in this place i have to break this for all x okay so for all x can be broken or for all x elimination is very simple we can directly eliminate substitute with any term that is done but when if i want to like in the conclusion it is needed that i want to include this for all x so for all x insertion it starts from a term and you are going to make a substitution in a formula for it okay so first i'll start with the first step is i take this formula for all x pi and so this is the given premise and what i'm going to do using your and elimination i can rewrite the terms as for all x psi and phi and psi separately this is your and elimination okay now i got two different terms and with this two different terms what i'm going to prove i'm going to start with this x not a term x not and with that x not i'm going to prove this formula i'm going to write the formula as psi phi and psi okay so if i am able to do that is fine step 5 is now psi is valid and i have to break this for all x pi so how can we break it directly like uh, elimination is easy right for all x, x uh, elimination is easy we can write make the substitution or in this formula we are going to make the substitution as x not instead of x okay this is your for all x elimination of first step 2 okay so i received this and uh, this is your step 5 and step 6 is this is valid and this is also valid i can rewrite this as for all x sorry pi of x and using using here and insertion of step 3 and 5 we can write this now i'll take the there is a term x and that x is substituted as x not okay so we start with the term x not so we can rewrite this formula as phi and psi in both this phi and psi x not is substituted as s using your identical function okay so identical and i write this identical to x i can write this Phi and y. Since this uh, x is not free in your uh, psi, you can combine it like this. Okay. So what happened here? Eighth step is I've started with this x not, and in this x not, I have a formula where x not is substituted as x. Okay. So using your for all x insertion, I can write this formula as for all e x phi and psi. so that is the conclusion that is needed okay starting with the term if you are able to derive this like you can write it as from 4 to 7 you are able to derive this formula and in the entire formula it is substituted as x not as x so we can derive it as for all x psi and uh, phi is valid okay so this is your one way of proving another way is like not another way the reverse of this proof is starting with like i'm going to take this for all x psi and pi with that i'm going to prove it as for all x psi and 
pi and psi. Okay, so now first is given premise. I'm going to write it as for all x, pi and psi. This is simple. This is the given premise. Okay, and uh, step two is we can directly break this R. Using your R elimination, you can directly break this. So when you are breaking it, we are going to start with the substitution. Okay, so let us take this x naught as the term that I'm going to make the substitution. And with this substitution, I can uh, just write for all x elimination instead of this in phi and, sorry, phi and this is in pi and psi, I'm going to make the substitution as x naught instead of x. Okay, so now I can just merge this like here, but for this formula, it is valid. So I can just write this as pi of x substituted as x and psi using your identity function, identical function. Since this x is not free in psi, we can write it like this. Okay, so now step five is, this is your and insertions. Uh, you here you have and. What does this and actually mean? Using your and elimination, this is valid and this is valid. Psi is also valid and uh, pi of x naught x, this is also valid. Okay, using your and elimination of step four, we can rewrite it like this. Okay, so now we got these two terms, right? Psi is they, well and good, but we need for all x of pi. So here that can be taken like this. See, we started from x naught and we are able to derive to psi of x naught to x. So it means that for all x, your pi actually works. This is your for all x insertion from step two to six, it is done. Got it? Now the last step is very simple. You have this is valid and this is also valid. We can write it as for all x pi, and psi using your and insertion of step five and seven. That's it. Okay, so you should know this identity function. You can just, when there is a single formula and uh, a term substituted with this formula, we can split it in any ways. Okay, thank you.